everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Um, I only found a couple crafty things this weekend because I only got to go to three sales. Because uh, I only went out on Friday. Because, you know, as most of you know, Saturday my mom and I went to the Ranger sale and had a great time and got to meet a whole bunch of great ladies and had a blast. But this is what I found on Friday. I found this big, huge box of paper doilies for a dollar. Most of them are this style right here, but there are a few in this style. This one's kind of stained, but that's okay. Um, there's some more of those down there. But anyway, um, not bad for a buck. Like I said, there's you know, a few hundred to a thousand of them in here. So, I'll, you know, I can use these as um, stencils and use them on cards and cut them up. And um, anyone who gets racks or, you know, wins giveaways or anything from me will definitely be getting doilies in your package. Because I certainly can't use a thousand of them. Um, and then... I picked up this book uh, at a sale for a dollar and it was sealed in plastic so when I got it home I found out that it's made of really really nice thick handmade paper and there's a ton of it in here so I figured I would try and um, use it it's kind of like a mini art journal or just like to test out colors techniques or whatever so I did this this morning and it's nice because it didn't warp the paper. I mean, I didn't soak this, but I did get it, you know, pretty wet. And it didn't warp the paper. There wasn't much bleed through on the back. Um, and I just used this Prima stencil that I had. There's five in a pack. I got this when our local scrapbook store closed a couple months ago. And I just laid that over the top and then sprayed it with um, three colors of Lindy's. I used Sweet Violet Purple Teal, Lucky Shamrock Green, and Tibetan Poppy Teal. And then after I took the stencil, well before I took the stencil off, the top of it, the stencil was wet so I just closed this page and rubbed over it. So. We'll see what happens with this book. But I was really happy that the paper was you know, so nice and thick. And then the only other things that I have to show you guys are just new things that I got um, this week. I did get the new inks from Tim Holtz. So you know, when anything says like, you know, limited edition and then has Tim Holtz's name attached to it, you know, I have to get it. I love this purple color. Um, Got another template from Crafters Workshop. Um, got it from Flock Shop again. Love that site. And um, I just love these templates. I think they're great. And then when I was at the Ranger sale um, with all the girls, we all left Ranger and went over to a local Michaels. I swear, that Michaels had everything. Mine is so lame compared to this this Michaels. It's insane. This one had Spellbinders dies and Tim Holtz dies and just all kinds of things I had never, you know, seen before. If I'd seen them, it was at another craft store like Joann's or Hobby Lobby or AC Moore. You never see it at my Michaels. But they had these cool Walnut Hollow metalworking tools and they were on clearance. They were supposed to be $10.00 each and there's two sets here but you got the um, the main tool and then you got all these tips this round one this one and they just screw off and then you can put a, a different one in this little foam mat and then there's a few more tools in there they were originally ten dollars a piece and I got them on clearance for five dollars each and that was all I bought at Michael's. I was very, very good. 
because I had been bad enough at the ranger sale. So that's it guys. Like I said, not very exciting, but um, you know, you already got to see all the other goodies I got at ranger. So that was the exciting part of the weekend. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great week. Bye.